Senator Bernie Sanders is going on a tour around the country to promote his $3.5 trillion reconciliation package. And if he actually pulled this off and got this package passed, it would be a game changer. It'd be the most sweeping set of policies to be passed since the New Deal. We're talking about a Medicare expansion that would include dental, hearing, vision, universal pre-K to every single child in America tuition-free community colleges. And if he actually did this, I think this would secure his legacy permanently. Now, let's all be honest here. This isn't exactly what we wanted when he ran for president, right? Individually, each of these policies, they are incrementalist. Like it or not, these are incrementalist policies. Medicare for all is preferable to a Medicare expansion. Free college is preferable to just free community college. Having said that, though, what I think Bernie Sanders wants to accomplish is since Joe Biden is a right-wing Democrat. He's taking all of the good portions of what Joe Biden ran on, all of the most progressive provisions in his platform, and he's saying, okay, if you want all of this incrementalism, we're just going to pass everything at once. We'll pass all of your agenda at once. And that way, if we're getting incrementalism, we're getting lots and lots and lots of incrementalist changes all at once, which is better than nothing. So Bernie is trying to do everything that he possibly can do to make the most progress. And I think that it's important, right? I mean, if you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. As long as we're moving forward, that's really important. Getting everything that we can accomplished before 2022, when the GOP is likely going to take back at least one chamber of Congress is really important because we're not going to have another chance to put forward any climate-related policies. And what this would do is it would invest in clean, renewable energy. So this is important. It's not the end-all, be-all. It's not a panacea. It's not going to save the world, but would it help? Yes. So Bernie's going on a tour to promote this, and he is considering going to two states in particular of interest to a lot of people, Arizona and West Virginia. And I think that the reason why he wants to go there is pretty obvious. Because two right-wing Democrats who are standing in the way of this reconciliation package come from those states. So as Eris Foley of The Hill reports, Senate Budget Committee Chairman Bernie Sanders says he's open to paying visits to Senator Joe Manchin's and Kirsten Sinema's home states to pitch a $3.5 trillion social safety net package that would advance key parts of President Biden's legislative agenda. Sanders made the remarks in an interview with Politico published Thursday as he ramps up travel to promote the massive spending bill, which Democrats hope to pass without Republican support, using a process called budget reconciliation. But Democrats will need every Democratic senator on board to pass the bill, and they faced difficulties achieving unity among members on spending, including the $3.5 trillion price tag for the reconciliation package that both Manchin and Cinema have taken issue with. By contrast, Sanders has remained steadfast on that dollar amount, calling the number, which is just over half as much as he initially proposed, non-negotiable in the new interview. Democrats have a very slim majority in the House. We have no majority in the Senate. That's it. It is 50-50, Sanders told the outlet. Trust me, there are a lot of differences in the Senate among the Democrats. But at the end of the day, every Democrat understands that it is terribly important that we support the president's agenda. And most of these ideas came from the White House, he added. And he's saying that because I think that he knows among these moderate Democrats, Joe Biden, like you can't say that Joe Biden is socialist. So if Bernie Sanders basically pitches, the, pitches this as, hey, this is President Joe Biden's agenda, like, are they going to call Joe Biden a socialist? I mean, Joe Manchin might, Kirsten Sinema might, but, you know, he he's seemingly more reasonable to these right-wing Democrats if he pitches this as Biden's agenda. Biden, who is a right-wing Democrat. And I like that Bernie is proposing this because this is what he said he'd do if he ran for president. If you have, you know, reluctant senators like Joe Manchin uh, refusing to support your agenda, you you go to their home states and you shame them. You cuck them in their ho in their home states, for lack of a better word. You go to their constituents and you sell this package to their constituents. They're not going to want their constituents to turn on them because they want to get reelected. So, you know, you do what you can to exert pressure and going to the home states of these senators is, I think, really, really important. Now, Bernie Sanders, whether or not like this has a chance of passing, he is incredibly optimistic. I'm not that optimistic, but seeing him be hopeful kind of makes me feel a little bit more assured. But still, uh, my cynicism, I think, 
overall is going to win. But Bernie thinks that this is going to pass. Despite differences amongst party members, Sanders expressed confidence in the recent interview that the forthcoming spending package will still fetch the necessary votes to pass both chambers. Sanders said that every member of the caucus understands that this is transformative for the American people. It is the right thing to do, and it is politically popular, he added. So look, I mean, he's optimistic. He thinks this is going to pass. So I hope he's right. I really, really hope he's right. I'm not that optimistic, but the fact that he thinks there's a chance, I mean, I'd imagine that he believes that. Otherwise, he wouldn't go around the country wasting his time trying to sell Americans on the benefits of this package. Now, he is correct that this is incredibly popular. So any senator, right wing or not, who doesn't support this is incredibly stupid. Like, this is something that you can brag about to your constituents for the rest of your career. A USA Today Suffolk poll found that 52% of Americans support the $3.5 trillion package. Now, support does decrease as the price tag goes up, according to the USA Today Suffolk poll. However, a Data for Progress poll found that support doesn't actually change for this reconciliation package, depending on the price tag. So overall, the main takeaway is that this is popular, and that's the point that he needs to hammer home. That's the point that Democrats have got to hammer home. This is popular. If you want your constituents to be happy with you, support this. Now, as it relates to Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, they couldn't care less about what their constituents want. They basically serve their donors 100% of the time. So what you have to do is make them fearful. Make them fear that their own constituents will revolt against them if they uh, don't vote in favor of this reconciliation package. All it takes is for one deflection, and this whole entire package goes up in flames. So... You know, I think that what Bernie Sanders is doing here is really important. You know, it's not what I hoped for, right? I wanted Bernie Sanders to be pushing for Medicare for all. I wanted him to be pushing for student debt cancellation and tuition-free public colleges. But that's not the reality that we're living in. So what he's trying to do is make the best of this terrible situation. And he's trying to push Biden's agenda in any way that he can. And look, honestly... I think that Bernie cares more about these things than Biden cares about these things. I don't even think that Biden cared about any of these solutions. If you ask him what was on his uh, policy proposals, uh, like on his website when he was running for president, he couldn't name more than three, right? Biden, I don't think he cares about these things. It's evident to me that Bernie cares more about these things because Bernie Sanders actually cares about the people. And he's pushing for this more than Biden is. But at the end of the day, I don't give a shit who cares about what. All I care is that we get the results. All I care about is these policies being delivered. And it would be nice if Joe Biden did anything to assist Bernie Sanders here in trying to push for these, use his bully pulpit to exert pressure on individuals like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. But still, I think Bernie, him doing this here is really important. And I hope that the left gets its act together and assists Bernie Sanders here. Because what he's doing, I mean, even if all of these policies individually are incrementalist, if they're all passed at once, it would still have a huge impact on people's lives positively. And we need that. We need that. So I hope that Bernie is successful. And I hope that organizations like the Sunrise Movement and, you know, Roots Action all rise up to kind of help Bernie and, you know, direct the grassroots to assist Bernie Sanders as he tries to sell this reconciliation package to Americans across the country. Because if we got this, it would really make a difference.